Hey everyone, how are you doing? Welcome back to another episode of, I don't know, I guess maybe this is the first episode of my collection. Um, this time we're going to show how I'm storing my DVDs and why I want to do this is because my DVDs are stored in a different way than most people. Now, if you see my other videos, you know about this, but if you haven't, this is my collection. I store my DVDs in these snap and store cases and the reason I like these is they're not super cheap they're not cheap at all but they work for the right height and what I do is I'm able to fit 130 DVDs in each one of these now this doesn't look like it would hold 130 that's not very wide at all but that's because I don't keep them in their DVD cases this is how they're stored so with this you can see movies and you see the back of them but you get the title up here and title long here and then someone might keep them the original case if the case is unique like this Conan one but the titles on the top here um, now if it has a slip cover I do actually keep the slip covers and so you got the slip cover. This is how you would see it inside. And the DVD just inside the case. So I got, here's the artwork. You open this up. And in here, you have the DVD inside a nice little sleeve. And this is felt backed. And you can fit two in here. It does have a sleeve on this side. So I can fit one disc on this side one disc on this side. Sometimes I'll even put two back to back on each side. All depends. Um, this is a flipper that's a widescreen full screen flipper or widescreen special features. I think this is widescreen full screen. What I just do is I just pull this a little bit so the felt is under it entirely. Fold the top over like so. And then I slip this in between the artwork front and back. So and that way there's no contact between the artwork and the DVD and then this has a flap you can see that there and that flap I fold in behind the artwork like so and there you go so then I'm just gonna put this inside of here and this is only on the ones I want to keep um, the slip cover for whatever reason and then I pop that in here between by on crank too. Now these cases do store a lot. Um, I've actually got eight, eleven up here. Then I actually have six on this shelf, and then eight on the very bottom shelf. And on this very bottom shelf, these ones, I actually are just holding a lot of discs. They're just sets. So you can see here, those are just a lot of sets. Married with children, kids in the hall. The Office, um, news radio seasons, just that's what's in, in a lot of these boxes down here. So I just store those like so. Um, I'm probably not going to keep storing those in those because of the fact that um, these are a little expensive. I think I'm going to end up putting the um, season sets and such over into uh, over on a different area. now. Here's what I want to do. These are all sitting on each other right now. And it is bowing in the middle because these plastic shelves are crap. We all know that. If you ever bought one for 35, 36 bucks at Home Depot, they are crap. But what I want to do is I actually want to build a shelving thing so that the shelves are just about as tall as these and just put a bunch of them here. And I don't think I'd be able to fit that much more, right? I don't think I'd be able to fit that much more. But it'll be a lot nicer to be able to get to, let's say, this box without having to move this one and this one and this one. You know, that's my biggest problem. But, yeah, I plan on um, now going through and starting to do videos on my collection, like things like this that I have, the Close Encounters um, Collector's Edition. This was a cool little DVD set because if you take a look, you open that up, and then you got this. And I think you fold this up, yeah. So, why? I don't know. But, it's pretty nice. 
pretty nice little set and it's even the back has the shininess to it as you can see there this set has i think different versions of the movie on it too um well it does have a making of documentary it has a 1977 featurette uh watching the skies it looks like it's just one version i thought this had like um other scenes on it but it doesn't but that's one of them i didn't like tear apart because how would i keep that together uh a tough video one day is going to be somebody will ask me hey do a video on your favorite discs that you own and i can't even begin to tell you that i can tell you like favorite movies of mine and such but i i, I mean with owning this many movies i i don't know how i would begin to to even know what I have, much less which ones are my favorites. Now, I will say this one's a pretty good movie. Now, not a favorite, not a favorite, but The Crush. Has anyone ever seen The Crush? Very young Alicia Silverstone. Right there on the back. Yeah. So, and it's got like a little sticker on it here on the front. Um... This is obviously, you can maybe tell for you people out there that know your cases real well, this was in a snapper. I just popped the back of the snapper off, or a snapper off of there, and then you end up with just the paper part. And that allows me to make it as flat as I want, that flat. Um, am I saving a ton of space? No, but I my, my goal is not to have any of that plastic in here. Um, I got most of that off. But anyway, um, yeah, things like the crush. So even if they're in those cases, I'm just putting them in here. I have, um, I have for a few of my ones that are in snapper cases, I have actually taken them and put them in a plastic bag inside of here. And I used um, old comic book bags. I was trying to see if I had any in here that I had done in that matter. But I don't believe there are any in this particular box right here. Uh, let's see. So the way I store these right now is I don't have letters on the front and that's because I got to get um, something that'd be erasable and that's because I'm changing constantly. Maybe this box today is A and B, right? Um, or zero, zero through, you know, zero through A because all numbers and symbols, so like 007 movies, I'd put them in here and such. And later on, that'll only become maybe, you know, letters only. Or, I mean, uh, sorry, numbers only. Maybe it gets to that point. So, I don't know what will be in these any day of the week, but I'm thinking of putting numbers on them. One, two, three, four. And then just always trying to keep the boxes sequential so that if I if I have a need to add a box, I have to shift everything down through all the boxes. You know, and that's only these boxes up here and two of them down here. So, we're only talking right now <laughs> only 13 boxes. Um, I do have a 14th box that's pretty much empty sitting right here. It just right now has a few things in it that I do need to put away. So, for example, let's do Kinsey, right? Kinsey here. Nice little double disc set. Um, if I'm looking for Kinsey, it's in the K's. That's actually it, this one right here. I just happened to be putting stuff away last night. So I set myself up here, I go Kinsey, and I'm going to go and look for K-I-N, so I got Killer, the Killer, we got the Killer Next Door, right, Killer Clowns, Blind Date, and my stepmother is an alien, and why is this in here? Oh, Kim Basinger movies, Kim. K-I-M, Kindergarten Cop, King Kong, <laughs> uh, The Kingdom, King of New York, King Pin, ah, and then K-I-S-S. So right after King Pin, but before Kissing a Fool, is where Kinsey will go. And there you go. Now Kinsey is put where Kinsey belongs. And here's another example of a set that I didn't tear apart. Um, Jackie Brown got this for a buck, collector's edition. Um, it's 
not in the best of shape ever. I mean, it looks okay. You see a little bit of, uh, and but then you open it up, and this art over here was on this side over here because of some water damage, I guess, that happened or something. But I kind of got it off of here as best I could, taped it onto this side, tried to restore it a little bit. But it has the book and, and everything else, and more so, what do I always say? What do I always say? It's about the movie. It's about the movie, the discs. Are the discs in good shape? Are the discs protected? That's what I, my concern always is. So, put Jackie Brown back in here. She's right here with the movie, uh, well, she's actually in the wrong order because Jawbreaker is in front of her. But, uh, now it's after. But Jackie Brown and Jack Get. Yep. Perfect. So, go and take this, put it back over here. And that's how I get put them away. I usually spread them all out. i am uh, got a ping pong table here uh, that this camera is actually sitting on top of a box on right now. And uh, it's nice because I can spread all the boxes along and just go through and put everything away really quickly. And I, what I do is I definitely, uh, or don't, not definitely, but I have separate boxes down here for my TV series. So if we start talking about um, TV series stuff, then those are in here, different box. So in here you got South Park, some South Park seasons, some Mr. Show stuff. Those boxes I did tear, tear up and um, you can actually see, I'll show you how I uh, made these cases for them. So they're... Uh, kind of tore out the trays that were in them and made them these flat things using their uh, their uh, they kind of had box covers not really slip covers per se but yeah these came out pretty good I did have to trim a little bit of art and stuff but overall I think they came out nice it uh serves a purpose and then you know when you're looking through you got Mr. Show right there on the top doesn't say what season it is but just keep them in season order you'll be okay so if we have a season of something um, that would be in here so later parts of the alphabet uh, let's see here's a My Little Pony not mine <laughs> um, actually I pick them up for my wife uh, she doesn't wa get watched stuff a lot because she's always doing stuff for us but um, My Little Pony the original series the end of Flutter Valley so I could put that right in here after Mr. Show, but before Mystery Science Theater 3000 presents The Undead. So I could put that right in there. And uh, then I got other things like Ripper Street, which I have a season of in here already. So I should be able to find that and put Ripper Street with the other one. So yeah, here's Ripper Street season two. And now I have two and four. I know that I need one and three bad, but you know, what are you going to do, right? You got to take what you can get. And then here's a season of Scooby-Doo and, um, and, and so seasons of Scooby-Doo are in here, but Scooby-Doo movies are over in the other boxes with the other Scooby-Doo movies. So hopefully this is answering the question. I've been getting a lot of questions on how I store all this stuff and, um, what it ends up being like because I got a lot of Spongebob square pants too in here um, well actually that's the cover I need to scan sometime and then TMNT and this is the um, 2003 version so I know I gotta put that in here uh, with New York City Showdown so that'll be with this one because that's the same series I'm not gonna put them in any order I'm just gonna put them both in there but there we go and then other things in here is like I do have my Muppet Show set back when they put those out um, some Penn and Teller BS and of course the ever great Pee Wee's Playhouse haha <laughs> So hopefully this answers some questions of people. If you have more questions about how I'm storing all this or um, anything in particular, the sleeves I use or whatever, I can post the links in the description of this video, just like I did in the ones where I first showed off how I was intending to store these. Sorry, this has been a long time coming. Um, 
this video just, it was one of those things that was difficult to get around to because of the fact that I was trying to wait till I had a new computer where I could do some nice editing and everything. But I'd rather just get this information out there so you guys can see. Next time though, I'm gonna cover my Blu-ray collection, which is all upstairs, except any Blu-rays I can't fit and you'll see why. And uh, the Blu-ray collection is, um, I think it's better movies overall, not all of them. Uh, some of those Blu-rays are down here uh, now. They're starting to make their way down here because I have overflow issues. Uh, but the, um, the Blu-ray collection is, I think, in the 500s. So lots of discs, lots of stuff. So thank you for joining me. If you like the video, please leave a like, leave comments. Uh, let me know what you think of this way of storing videos. You know, again, um, in case you don't know, I don't access these often. I um, rip these to my hard drive in the living room and I access all those from all the rooms. God definitely do a video on that for you so you can all see how that works and that works really great. Um, that'll definitely be require some editing that video. And uh, I'm just glad I finally got around to this for you guys. Uh, well, leave comments, subscribe, like, and remember, go get your COVID shot. I got mine today, first one. Have a good one, guys. Bye.